And here's the world record holder. He had the world's best ever score in the short program. So he's leading by a country mile, as far as this is concerned, 93 he scored. He leads by 11 marks and more from the Japanese who are ganging up behind him and still to go. Runner-up in the last two years at World Championships. This is Patrick Chan from Ottawa in Canada. Saw two quads from Brazina. Could be two here from Chad. There's the first. Well, he was looking for a combination on that, but he, you could see the landing wasn't quite solid enough. So if he's going to get the second quad, he's going to have to put it in combination. This is it. And he did it. Clear thinking, brilliant execution from Chan. 14.4, the base value of that. Quite brilliant. And there's the Lutz. Exquisite footwork and use of the music. an artist. And to step out of that triple axle. Did well there, triple that's half loop, triple Salco.
Oh boy. Andrew Lloyd Webber's Fantasia, and it has been a fantasy week for this young man. It seemed he might be destined to be the perpetual runner-up, but unless we see something out of this world, he's nailed it. 11 points a lead over everybody else, and plenty more on some, surely that's going to be enough to get the goal. Yeah, I can't see that <laughs> getting him any, anything other than a gold medal. Fantastic performance. Just looked a little ragged towards the end, but the, goodness me, these big elements at the beginning. He makes it look so easy, doesn't he? You can see he struggled with the landing on the first of the triple toe loops, but uh, focusing on the positive goes down the other end and puts a triple toe on the end of it. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Breathtaking technique. Wonderful transitions throughout the program. He used just about every beat of the music wherever possible. There's the triple axel that he just lost control of at the top of the jump. And there again, a half loop, triple salco. Big combination. High levels on all of the spins, and I love the footwork. He uses every inch of the skate from the front to the back. Every edge, got all the turns in there. And never forgets what's going on from the waist up. And he's learnt to project, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. He's come out of his shell. That may be the single factor that denied him the gold in LA and in Turin. It's not going to deny him the gold here, surely. Oh, 187. That's way clear of anything he's ever done before. Well, that assures him of the gold medal. Nothing anyone can do is going to beat that.